Ahoy, this is Denka. How to upscale this looking low resolution 720p video to 4K, recovering all details. This tutorial is brought to you by AIRT. The software I will be using today is called AIRT Video Enhancer. The link is below the video in the video description. I introduced this software a few weeks ago. I'm going to link it below as well. There are some new updates that I will point out in this tutorial. It can do much more than just upscale the video. Once you open up AIRT Video Enhancer, you will see this interface. On the left is where you import your videos and on the right are all the tools. I'm going to hit the plus icon and import all clips. At the top are controls for screen preview. You can see dual screen where you will see before and after preview. Or you can use this slider, which you just drag left and right. You can also move the frame with this hand. As you can see on the top left, the current resolution of the video is 720p. The first video I imported is not just a clip, it's a long video. If I wanted to select only parts of the video to work on and export, I could do this with the left and right selection tools. It's really an old video I filmed roughly seven years ago in Czech Republic. As you can see, the software is automatically already showing the preview of how the clip will be adjusted with the current settings that might not be correct for this particular video, but the result is already there. The sharpness is visible as the low resolution clip in 720p is very blurry. If you need to import more clips, just hit this plus icon on the left. Let's work on the first video. This is a long video, but I only want to work on the first landscape clip. Let's select only that portion of the clip. Let's go to the right side and start with the more details AI panel. The first thing you are going to do is select the hardware you want to use, depending on your computer system. The choices here are CPU, NVIDIA GeForce and graphics card. I will leave it on NVIDIA. The next step would be selecting an AI model that works the best for the particular clip. There are three options. Mo Details HQV2, Smooth HQV2, and Super Video VHQ. When you hit the question mark, it will explain in detail what each AI model does. Mo Details HQV2 generates more details. It delivers power for deblurring and denoising with a particular edge in recovering fine textures such as hair strands, flowers, and outdoor plants. It enhances clarity and sharpness while preserving details. It's especially effective in daylight outdoor scenes, nature shots, and portraits, where a sharp texture and natural details are essential. It supports one-time, two-time, and four-time upscaling. I can already see that this is the correct model for this video. It's a daytime outdoor scene with outdoor plants. Let's explain the next choices. Smooth HQV2 eliminates flaws in a video. This one provides natural deblurring and denoising. It's ideal for general video, especially useful in scenes with people, outdoor lighting or moderate imperfections. It supports one time, two time and four times upscaling. Super Video VHQ is optimized for low light denoising. So the main focus is denoising under extremely low light conditions such as night skies, urban nightscapes or dimly lit interiors. The procession will be a bit slower as it goes for the best quality. It supports two times upscaling. There are also instructions for one time scaling. If you don't need to upscale the video, you want to keep the same size, but simply need to fix the video as it might be blurry. You just select one time scaling. That's all. Let's go back to the right panel. Below the AI model selection are upscale controls. You can upscale up to four times or up to 4K. You can also select a custom resolution. So for this first video, I will select Mo Detail HQV2 and I will select upscale to 4K. When we look at the preview window, you can see how much detail it has recovered. It's a very big difference. 
Let me just quickly show you on another clip, for example, of this woman, how much detail you can recover with the same model. Notice the blurry details around the edges of the face. Here is after. You can see all the little hair. Another clip I have here is a night clip. For this one, I would use the model for low light scenes. That is Super Video VHQ. The noise in the video is gone. It's very smooth now. Okay, let's return to the first clip and continue. Edit controls are next. Here you can rotate and flip the clip, crop, and work with multiple tracks. Color is a newly added feature, so let's explore that and enhance the video a bit. I am going to drag the preview slider a bit more to the left, so you can see more of the frame. Let's bring the temperature to a bit warmer tones. Let's bring out the contrast a bit more. Let's see what saturation does. It does enhance the color, so let's keep it there. Highlights. I'm not going to adjust that much. Let's see if shadows need a bit of a help. Let's play with whites and black tones. Let's keep the color panel selected as I want these corrections to happen. Below you have frame interpolation where you can change the frame rate of the clip. This is used to smooth out those choppy videos. You can also create a slow motion from the clips that were filmed at real speed. If your clip has audio with lots of noise in the background, you can correct it here. The same thing here. Choose an AI model and adjust these settings below. My clip doesn't have an audio, so I'm just going to stay with upscaling, enhancing details in the video and color. I will now hit at task. Below are all the actions that will happen to this video. I can see the original size on the left and on the right output settings. If you still want to add something, you can hit modify, work with the tools on the right, and once you are ready, just hit apply. I am ready to export a clip, so let's pull out export settings. I will leave the format on MP4 and video codec H.264. There is no audio in this clip, so I don't have to worry about that. Then I just need to select where I will save the file. Let's hit export. And now you can see the process on the bar. The video is exported. Let's play the original clip first. And here is the final clip. There is a big difference. If you have several clips imported you want to work on and then export at the same time, you can do that as well through batch processing. So what you do is work on each video individually first, select all the tools you want to work on, and then hit Add Task. Every time you hit Add Task, you will see this green icon with an E letter over the video, so you know that this is ready to be worked on. The bar below will also pop up. Now, I'm going to work on the clip with the car. Once I am done, I hit Add Task. Right now, all these first clips with the green icon are ready to be exported, so I'm just going to do that to show it. I am not going to do the rest of the clips. To export them all at the same time, all I have to do is hit the batch export. Let's just play several clips before and after so you can see the changes. Just to let you know, all of this is happening offline, so it's very secure. There is no cloud upload. All processing is happening locally. You can find the link to AIRT Video Enhancer below the video. Free trial is available. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you in one of those videos next. Ciao. Ahoy.